It actually makes it like super flattering in the butt. Do I love them? No. I think that these might take my place for number one. You lost my business, okay? I use it every single day to class. I like literally couldn't imagine using a regular backpack. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm reviewing a bunch of stuff from the new Girls' Night In collection from Buff Bunny. It's launching this Saturday, the 25th at 1 p.m. CST. I will list all of the other times and other time zones right here. Also, I like never film when it's dark outside, but I only had time to film this video like after class one day and I'm in class until like five. So we're dealing with the darkness, but I'll include photos of everything in case any colors are off. Anyways, this is one of my favorite launches to date because I just feel like they have so many like cute functional activewear pieces, but also a ton of really cute like loungy pieces and new colors of the Game Changer backpack, which I will be reviewing in detail. We also have Peach over here, in case you didn't notice her. She likes when I film sitting because then she can sit with me, so, so we can accommodate her needs. Anyways, I have a bunch of stuff to try on for you guys right now, and I tried a bunch of stuff at the photo shoot back in December, so I have a good mix of things to talk about today. I'll be mentioning the colors that everything comes in, as well as any sizing recommendations. I am pretty much always a small, and I've been a small in like 99% of Buff Bunny stuff. So I did want this video to be in depth, so it might be like a little long. So I will have timestamps down below so you guys don't have to waste your time. We don't like wasting time here on this channel. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know this review will be totally 100% honest. I don't like to waste anyone's time, again, lying about things that I don't actually like. So everything will be totally honest. If you are getting anything from the launch, first of all, let me know. I would love to know because I can vicariously shop like through you guys. And I do have a support code. It's just Catherine, just my name. It's not a discount code, but it does support me so I can keep making these videos and I can keep showing you peach. More good news, they now have a warehouse in Canada. So for my Canadian ladies, you can now shop through their Canada site and you won't have to pay any crazy shipping, wait forever for your package, pay any crazy customs. Apparently that's a thing in Canada, but it's not a thing anymore for Buck Bunny. Anyways, I think that's really cool. They took the time and effort to do that for their customers because that just really shows that they care. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so first let's talk about the Game Changer backpack. Okay, so here's the backpack. I have it in the pink color, but it's also coming in a maroon with gold metal and navy with gold metal and then black with silver. The black was like the original color of the Game Changer backpack. So the like three other new colorways are like the new ones. And let me tell you, I just love the pink so much. Like this was my favorite color. And these are my favorite color just by chance. So I love it. Every time they launch a Game Changer bag or a backpack, I always get the question of like, is it worth it? To me, something is worth it if it's like solving a problem in my life or if I'm getting a lot of use out of it. And this does both. I use it every single day to class. I like literally couldn't imagine using a regular backpack. I have like a nice North Face backpack. It just sits in my closet because I like this better. I switch off from using the backpack in the bag. They're not restocking the bag this launch, but I hope that they will soon because I really like that one as well. By the way, I don't have the prices of everything, but I will try to list price estimates on the screen. They do have the price for this though. It's $98, which I know it sounds like a lot, but I used to spend 80 to hundred dollars on my school backpacks and I carry a lot of stuff in this and it has not like had any issues for me. So as someone who likes to shop affordable things for a bag, I don't think that like 90 to hundred dollars is like horrible, but maybe I'm just saying that because I get so much use out of it that I would spend like any amount of money on it because I love it so much. Basically it fits everything I need for class. I wore it to class this week. First of all, it has the meal prep compartment at the bottom. Compared to the tote bag, this compartment is less wide, but it's a lot taller. Like it goes up pretty high. It's also collapsible. So when you don't have stuff in it, like I do now, it like condenses down so you can put other stuff in the top. Another thing I like about it, as you can tell, literally like stands up on its own. I always hated having to like lean my backpack against something because it wouldn't stand up by itself. I know it's like seems minor, but like I just like to be able to set it down and it totally stands up straight. It has two little side pockets. They're not big enough to fit a hydro flask. I have a hydro flask. It doesn't fit them, but it is good just for like sliding like a phone in here. And then it also has these side zip pockets. I have my headphones in here currently, just like little small things you wanna have like easily accessible. On the other side, I just slipped in some like protein bars and a little chapstick on the side. So it has a padded laptop sleeve and not only is it padded, and it's a laptop sleeve, but it's also hidden. The zipper for this compartment matches the color of the backpack. It's almost like a steel proof kind of mechanism thing, but if you zip it down and inside the bag, I carry my 13 inch, like maybe a little more than 13 inch laptop for school and my like 11 to 12 inch iPad Pro. 
all in the back there and all fits. Then the center compartment, I have full of a bunch of stuff right now. It has like an elastic mesh pocket at the top and then it has a mesh zip pocket down lower. It also has a mesh water bottle pocket. This is for like a skinnier sized water bottle. Still doesn't fit my hydro flask, but like a lot of things don't fit my hydro flask. And then I have like some pencil case stuff some chargers in here, some hand lotion. It fits everything I need for class and more. The straps on the backpack are also padded and adjustable. It has one of these little holder guys right here. And all the fabric is actually water resistant. So if you're like getting caught in the rain or something, it's not a big deal, it slides right off. So yeah, the Game Changer backpack and bag like are my number one things from Buff Bunny ever. Like if I had to get rid of everything except for like one item from Buff Bunny, it would be either the backpack or the bag because like I seriously use them every day and they're just so cute. Okay, now on to things that I actually have to try on in the video. First, I have the Vive La Vibe bra. This bra is made of the Performance Vita fabric. This is your classic slick performance material fabric, super high quality, no chance of pilling whatsoever. It also has a decent amount of compression. I'll get more into that when we talk about the leggings. But this is the bra. Basically, almost all of it is in Vita fabric, and then it does have this little mesh inserts at the top. Super high coverage sports bra. Every Buff Bunny video I mention this, but Buff Bunny has the best like medium to high support sports bras that like don't really look like bras, you know? They just look like cute sports bras, but they all actually have a lot of support. I'm a 32 triple D and like I wear these on like my higher impact days, no problem. But they're also super cute and like you can wear it with a really cute like outfit set. So I love their sports bras so much. This comes in the color Teal Me More, which is this color. It also comes in Cabernet, which is like a dark wine color, and then also Pillow Talk, which is a light baby pink. Okay, I tried to find the best lighting I could do given that it's like 9 p.m. Here's the bra. It's a really nice high neck. Goes about up to my collarbones, but it doesn't like cut into my neck. Very good coverage on the sides. I'm not getting any side boob spillage. It does come a few inches below the bust line as well. So it almost is more of like a crop top. I love the mesh panel detailing. Basically the straps are just like made of mesh. So it's a really cute detail. The back is pretty plain and it's very full coverage as well. It's about a medium to high support depending on your chest size. For me, it's like the high end of a medium support. I wouldn't call it like the highest of high supports, but if you have a smaller chest, definitely will be high support. I'm not seeing the removable cup pad outline, so that's a good sign. And I wore this for a full body workout the other day, and I didn't have any like awkward chafing or anything. So I'm wearing a size small, and I recommend true to size. To go with the bra, they're also restocking the Vibe leggings. They're coming in a few new colors, same colors as the sports bras, but again, it's the Vita fabric, so no pilling's gonna be happening. It has a seamless compressive waistband, and it also has these really cute laser cut little details down the leg, and it also goes under the booty to be kind of like a subtle booty contour, kind of blends in with like the whole like vibe of the legging. Okay, here are the here are the vibe leggings. I really love their Vita fabric. Sometimes these like fabrics can feel like a little bit cheap, but this still feels like super luxurious while still being like really good for performance. I'll still do a leg day in Rosa leggings and won't have a problem. A fabric like this, especially like these leggings in particular, is just like a go-to for me for a leg day. I love the little dot detail that goes down the side and it goes under the booty, do a little booty contour. It actually makes it like super flattering in the butt. The booty seams also go above the booty, which you know I love. I would give these a medium to high on the booty scale. They're actually doing, doing some good things. I love that the holes are really subtle because they are just like a laser cut. I'm not getting any camel toe. I would give these a solid medium compression they're more compressive than you would think like a super thin fabric like this would be it is super lightweight But again, it does have a lot of compression because of the compression I would say these are probably cellulite friendly Especially because you have these little dots under here That's gonna help camouflage the cellulite as well because usually cellulite is kind of like an under the booty thing So I would think that these would probably be pretty cellulite friendly My only issue with these is that they're a 7 8 length but I think they're actually more of a capri. They're actually not really like seven eighths length. I don't love like capri length leggings. So if you're shorter, these would be a good length for you. I am five nine, so I'm very tall, but I would just prefer if they were a little longer. It also is a raw cut edge, so it's not like a seam or anything at the edge, but it shouldn't have any issues with fraying because this fabric like doesn't fray like that. That's why they're able to do the eyelets. So yeah, I really like these for a nice like performance leg day and they're really cute.
Next, I have the Hero hoodie. And I think the whole like concept behind this hoodie just really speaks to like what Buff Bunny really does as a brand. So they made this hoodie to bring empowerment to women who have suffered from domestic violence. And they asked survivors to write down special quotes that got them through a, their tough situations. And so that's actually what's printed across the sweatshirt right here. And a percentage of all the sales of these sweatshirts will be going to a local Houston women's center. So you're really giving back with this piece. I, I just think that's so cool. This is the chocolate color, but it also comes in black and pillow talk, which is the light pink. I got this in a size medium just because I like my hoodies to be kind of oversized, but it's basically just a classic hoodie. It has one of the little front koala pockets. It has thumb holes even, which is really fun. And it just has a classic hoodie with a little drawstring. Next we have the Wanderlust jogger, which is a jogger made of the new Bray fabric. I mean, say no more, I'm sold. The Newbury fabric is what their Rosa leggings are made out of, and it's like the like softest, like just best fabric ever. So basically it's a super soft legging fabric in a jogger. We love it. It just has a classic elastic waist with a drawstring. They also have these cute little hidden zipper pockets and they have a little contour detailing across like the quad area that's just made of like a ribbed material. So it kind of just gives a little contrast. It's the exact same color. Like you can't even really see that it's there, but it is like a little detail. And the cuffs at the bottom are made of a very similar little rib fabric. I wear a size small in the joggers just because I like them to fit a little snug, but if you like a more relaxed fit jogger, I would size up in these. And this is coming in black and spirit, which is what I have, which is kind of like a bluish, greenish, dark gray. So I really hate to do this because I know that I love the Buff Bunny Stripe Joggers. I think that these might take my place for number one. This is like literally ridiculous how comfortable these are. Think the Lululemon Align Joggers, except with like a drawstring waistband, which I find to be more flattering and more of a snatched waist. And let me tell you, I love a nice snatched waist. I didn't even tighten the drawstring yet and the waistband is already snug against my waist. So it provides a good amount of compression, but I don't feel like it's squishing me. If you feel like you want a little more room in the waist though, I would size up. These are just like my normal legging size. I love how subtle this little contour detail is. It just makes them like a little more different than just like a plain jogger. These literally feel so comfortable though because they're just like a slightly more relaxed fit. Rosa legging, which like, if you guys have tried the Rosa leggings, the new bright fabric is like so, so soft, literally like the softest thing ever. These are a full length on me and I am 5'9", so if you are tall, they will be full length on you. Super flattering on the butt. I mean, I don't know how you could, I don't know how you could argue with that. These are no joke. If you want a jogger that's like more something you could probably like take to the gym and lounge in, I would go with this. And if you just want like a super like comfy lounge jogger, I would go with the dreamy joggers. Next, we have the Revolution bra. This is also made of the new Bray fabric and it pairs perfectly with the new Rosa pocket leggings. I didn't get the Rosa pocket leggings, but let me tell you, I saw them at a photo shoot and they were cute. Anyways, super soft new Bray fabric. It comes in Pillow Talk, which is this, black, cabernet, and the teal color. So you could even mix and match this bra with the Vibe leggings if you like those leggings better than the Rosa pockets. But it has a super cute square neckline, which is actually surprisingly like flattering for the girls. It has a super cute little strappy design in the back and a little ring that like kind of keeps all the little straps in place. It is somewhat of a long line sports bra and it does have removable cup pads. Okay, so here's the bra. I really like the like square cut neckline. I think that's like pretty unique for a sports bra. I also love how it extends down the torso a couple inches, just cause if you just wanna wear a sports bra to the gym, sometimes it's nice to have like a little extra coverage there. Totally covered on the side, no boob spillage. There's a little bit of cleavage, but because it's a square neck, it's not like plunging. So I don't feel like I'm like super exposed. I love the back of this. I mean, like I, I mean, I'm a sucker for a strappy back. We all know that, but like, this is cute. This one's more of like a medium support for sure. Definitely not a high support. That's partly the nature of the Newberry fabric just being kind of like a softer fabric and just like the cut of the sports bra. The only thing about this color is I think that because it's like a lighter color, you can kind of see the cut pads a little bit, or at least I could in the mirror. I don't know if you can on camera, but just be mindful in like the lighter colors, it might be possible to see the cut pads through. A little bit of a pet peeve of mine, but what are you gonna do? This fabric is like so soft and comfy and I would recommend going true to size. I'm wearing a size small. Lastly, let's get into the new Jacquard stuff. 
So they launched this like jacquard fabric. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm always worried that I'm saying things wrong. They launched it last year, but they only launched it in like a grayish black color, but now it's coming this fun teal. It's the same super cute fabric and it's actually not a print. It's actually like a woven fabric, like made of this design. So it's not like gonna like peel off or anything. And they're restocking all of this stuff in the martini color, which is this and mineral, which is the black and white. So if you're like into more of a neutral, I think the black and white is really cute. Anyways, my favorite thing from the Jacquard collection is the Jacquard jacket. This just feels so high quality and I just feel like I love these types of jackets that are kind of made of a yoga pant type material and like have the thumb holes and the zip it's just you could definitely pair this with the matching leggings or shorts or you could wear it on its own with a plain colored legging if you're not looking to be like a super like full patterny look so it has like a cute little collar long sleeves with thumb holes this whole back region is just total mesh so it's like super breathable and ventilated it also has mesh pockets in the front so they're not zip pockets they're just like little mesh guys and i wear a size medium in this so i'll try it on okay i'm gonna be honest with you guys at first when i saw the jacquard stuff i thought it was like really in your face and like I wasn't here for it, but I wasn't introduced to the jacket. And let me tell you, I'm here for this jacket. I like that it's not too much of the jacquard, like it's just like a moderate amount. So it's kind of like a subtle print, which I like, cause I don't love like super, super in your face things. This jacket is literally so nice. The sleeves feel like the new break fabric. I don't know if they are the new break fabric, but they feel like it. They have thumb holes, which I mean, if you are gonna make a yoga style jacket and not put thumb holes in it, you lost my business, okay? You lost it. Then they have the super stretchy, like little knit jacquard fabric. And the entire back, you can see that the mesh is actually see-through. So first of all, it's super breathable. Second of all, it's just like kind of cold. You can like see stuff through it. Apparently transparency wows me. And then just white on the bottom. It is a decently long jacket. It goes about to like my hips on the side and then dips down a little more front and back. I believe I'm wearing this in a size medium. I will check and make sure and put it on the screen. The zipper is also super nice. It looks like the same zipper from the Game Changer backpacks. And the front pockets are also that same mesh material. So they're also just like super lightweight and cute. But yeah, definitely favorite jacket of the launch. Cause like, They also have the jacquard shorts. The shorts don't have the pattern all around. They just have the pattern kind of the waistband. These give me more of like a lounge short vibe. I did get sent these in a size small, usually a size up in shorts. So we'll see how they fit. It has a cute little zip pocket in the back for a little key storage or something. The rest of the shorts fabric feels like a classic Lululemon Luan type thing. So it's not the new Bray, but it's also like different than the jacquard. And they're pretty short. They have like a two inch inseam, which is why I like consider them more of like a lounge legging. So let's try these on. These are the shorts. Like I said, I usually size up to a medium in shorts, but I actually think that these are okay. Do I love them? No, but I'm not a big shorts person. So definitely not a big short shorts person because my thighs, they just say hello. I'm not like self-conscious about my legs, but I don't think they're my best feature. So I don't know. I think I would have liked the shorts better if they were like the full on jacquard fabric, like the leggings are, and maybe just like a teeny bit longer. These definitely are more of a lounge short for me. I wouldn't wear shorts like this short to the gym just for like for personal reasons, like something wrong with it. I just don't like to be like, hey, here's my butt. I am totally covered, but I just prefer my shorts to be a little longer to kind of cover the like little double butt area that's going on right here. In other news, no camel toe. And if you like like short shorts like this, they probably would be really cute for you, but like they're just not my personal fave. The waistband is seamless by the way. So there's like no seam at the top. So they will be like flattering on the waist at least. And I also got the Jacquard bra. This bra has a V at the front. It has removable cut pads. They also have the crop bra, which is like a zip up one that has a lot more coverage. So if you wanna show a little bit more skin, I get this bra. And if you wanna cover up a little more, I go with the like zip up bra. Anyways, it comes in at the back and has kind of a racer back design, but then it also has like two extra little cute crisscrossies. All right, so I tried in the sports bra and immediately knew this one wasn't for me. I tried to put the girls away, but they were just like, listen, we're here, we're not going anywhere. So yeah, if you're not into like showing a lot of skin and you have boobs, this isn't the sports bra for you. I probably would have chosen the zip up one just so I could still like have the like cute fabric, but like be a little more covered up. That one does have like a lot more coverage. Now, if you have smaller girls, 
this will really flatter them and make them look nice. But for me, I wouldn't feel comfortable going to my gym that's like mostly men in it. It actually isn't too light of a support. I would say it's still like on the light side of a medium support, but it's definitely not like light light. I still like the overall like pattern and like design of it. I like the little white trim. It kind of matches the jacket. The back is super cute. I love the little pattern. I just wish it was like a little more coverage in the front for me. So like I said, they also have the Jacquard Croc Bra. This does have a full zip front. It also is just like in general, like higher support and has a higher neckline than the sports bra. It has mesh panelings on the side too, like the jacket does to make it a little more breathable. And they also have the Jacquard leggings, which are a full Jacquard print, like top to bottom. So it's basically the Jacquard fabric that everything else comes in, except in legging form. This fabric in general is like really cool and like, Flush and just super stretchy, so I imagine this leggings would be pretty comfy. So I don't have them myself, but from what it looks like, I would assume it would be pretty cellulite friendly just because when you have patterns like this, it tends to just like blend the cellulite right in. Like, we don't know her, she's gone. And I would also assume that they're squat proof because I've had no leggings from Buff Bunny that aren't squat proof. Like, even their white leggings were squat proof. So I want to talk about the items I tried at the photo shoot. I don't physically have them because they didn't send them to me before the launch, but I did try them and I have a lot of photos and I can at least offer like some sizing recommendations. First, we have the Dreamy set, which is my absolute favorite lounge set from the launch. It comes in the colors Bear, which is like a tan, and Fifty Shades, which is gray, of course. And these joggers are so, so soft. Like they're definitely not a workout jogger at all, but the fabric is just super plush and soft and stretchy. It's just like the ultimate comfort material. It has a little drawstring elastic waist. It has two regular like little front pockets and then it has two really like booty enhancing little butt pockets. They're, they're so cute. The joggers are full length on me. I'm 5'9", so for my taller ladies, it will fit you completely. And I would say these are true to size. I wore a size small and I wouldn't necessarily recommend sizing up in these because they already are kind of like a slouchy like lounge fit. It wasn't like super tight on me at all, so I would just go with your normal legging size. To go with the dreamy joggers, they also have the dreamy top. Same colors and same fabric, but it's like an off the shoulder design. It has like a more fitted waistband region, and it's like a little more slouchy up here, and then the sleeves do have that kind of like slouchy look. In the photo, I'm wearing a medium in the top. I would go with your normal size if you want it to be a little more fitted. If you want it to be a little more relaxed in the waist area, like the photo where I'm wearing it, I would size up. They also have the dreamy shorts, which I prefer the joggers just because like I'm not a big shorts girl. The shorts are made of the same material. They have the same cute butt pockets. They have the same like little drawstring waist, but they are pretty short. I think they look like to be about like a two inch inseam. So if you're not into like super short shorts, like don't go for those, but if you do like shorts, Next, they're restocking their Fall Freely and Fall in Love dresses. The Fall Freely are the short sleeve, which is the one that I tried on, and I personally like the short sleeve better. The Fall in Love is a like long sleeve top. Basically, this is like a dress made of legging material. It's super, super comfy, but also like really flattering. It's made of their energy fabric, which is like slightly brushed and buttery soft, but it's not as brushed as their new Bray fabric. So it's like a little less prone to pilling, even though I haven't had issues necessarily with pilling on the new Bray. It's a great fabric. Energy is personally my fave fabric. I wore a size small in the dress. I definitely could have probably worn a medium as well. Just depends like how like snug you want it to be. The dress also goes longer in the back. So even being a tall girl with like a long torso, I did not have an issue with it being too short at all. And it's just really cute for every day and just so flattering. So yeah. And the last thing I tried at the photo shoot that I don't have with me today is the basic crop jacket. This was everyone's like favorite thing in the photo shoot. Like I literally loved it so much. It's just a super cute basic cropped zip up sweatshirt. I would recommend sizing up one or two sizes in this. I wore a medium and it like honestly was pretty snug on me. So depending on how like slouchy you want it, I would go for a size up. I can't find any photos of me in this, but I have a lot of photos of other people. And lastly, I just wanted to mention a few other things that I don't personally have, but I just wanted to like tell you guys what I know about it. They're coming out with the Rosa Pocket Leggings. If you watched my top five leggings that flatter your booty video, I featured the Rosa Leggings in there. They're just an incredible legging. Like they have like hold to them and compression, but they're also just so flattering on the booty. And now they came with pockets, but a lot of pocket leggings have that like curved seam that goes like right over your butt. And like it's said to enhance the booty, but it actually kind of just like brings your whole butt down. They made these Rosa pocket leggings without doing that. The seams go kind of like up the sides and they still leave the booty to be like very full and like nothing's like 
cutting over the lines of it. So it's also made of the new bright fabric, which is like the same as the old Rosa. And it's coming in black, teal me more, which is like the dark teal color and spirit, which is like the dark gray. They're also coming out with the Wanderlust crop hoodie, which kind of looks like the hero hoodie, except it doesn't have the writing. It's just like a cropped hoodie with like a white little band across the front. Coming in black, teal, chocolate, and Prosecco, which is like a nude. They all, they're also launching the Nova zip jacket, which if you like the Dracard jacket, but you're not a huge fan of like a busy print, this is like the same thing, except like totally neutral. It's not exactly the same thing, but it's the same concept of like that kind of like luxurious, like zip up style, like yoga jacket. The Nova jacket though does have the zip up side pockets, which I like because it's a little more secure to put your stuff in it. That jacket has a hood while the Jacquard jacket had like the kind of little collar thing. So it just depends on your preferences. And to fit with the kind of girls night in theme, they also made teddy coats and they look super soft and just really sloungy. They have that kind of hood that just blends in with the rest of the jacket. And it has one of those little like button front closures. So it's like a very open style, relaxed teddy coat. Okay, that's it for the review. If you made it this far, thank you so much. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I just wanna say I had like a super long day of class today, but filming this video just made me like super happy and like energized. So I just wanted to say thank you because you guys are the reason I do this. Again, if you do choose to get anything and if you wanna support me, you can use my code Catherine. I'm just a girl in dental school making videos. So I do appreciate any support you guys give me. If you are getting a Game Changer backpack, you need to get on the site the second that it launches because I know they made like a ton of backpacks, like they have a lot of product, but there's also like a ton of people who want them. So they do sell out quickly. I think the most popular color is the maroon. So if you're trying to get it a little faster, maybe go for like the navy or the pink because those are so far like the less popular colors based on my Instagram poll, very scientific. So yeah, let me know what pieces you're looking at at the moment, if you're gonna skip this launch, if you're gonna like really go in, all that. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.